What's up, Ramblers? So today, I've got these crickets here they got from PetSmart. And I've let them get gut loaded overnight. So I got them yesterday. And I put some leafy greens in here, as you can see. I let them eat overnight. I also sprayed this enclosure down with some water so they could have something to drink overnight. So they've had plenty of moisture and plenty of stuff to eat. And so now what we're going to do is do a little feeding video with Miss Sheila. What's up Ramblers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. And today, like I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing a feeding video for Miss Sheila. So I've got the crickets all ready to go. Let's go ahead and see if she's hungry. I bet she'll eat for us. We're gonna tong feed Sheila as many crickets as we can and whatever's left over, we're just gonna let free roam in her enclosure for a little bit of um, enrichment so she can hunt a little bit. Let's take a look. So today we're going to be dusting our crickets with Fluker's Repta Calcium, Cal Repta Calcium with vitamin D and it's phosphorus free. So it's really good every now and then to work this into your reptiles diet um, so they, they don't get metabolic bone disease. So this is what Sheila's going to have on her crickets today. Went ahead and separated a couple of crickets into a separate bin here. Got some of the calcium powder in there. I want to pick out a few more. Um, it's been about 24 to 48 hours since she's eaten last. So we're going to feed her as many as she wants. Um, and the remaining ones we will let go so that she can hunt them over the next day or two. So we're gonna pick out a couple more. So you can see Miss Sheila, she's hanging out. She's got a little bit of stuck on the shed there. She's chilling. She should be able to get that off. That should be enough. I feel like that should be enough for her for the next day or two. She knows. <laughs> she knows I have crickets for her. Look at her. She already knows. You know, we're gonna have cricket time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's looking for him. <laughs> yeah, I've got crickets for you. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cricket time. <laughs> Are you excited? All set up here, girlfriend. Yeah, we're gonna eat some crickets today, Shields. <laughs> you goober. Okay. <laughs> here we go, Sheila. Over here. Oh, right there. You can get it. There you go. Yeah. Job, Sheila. Let's see if we can get another one fed over here. Oh yes, definitely wants that. Yes, nicely done. Natural. Right here, she is. Right here. 
Okay, good job. All right, Sheila. Stay right there for me. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got more for you. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh. Oh. Get it, Sheila. Nice. Great predation. Okay. Look at this. animal. Uh, he has not been feeling the greatest because he's had some stuck on shed. Where is he? There he is. Uh, but he seems to have gotten most of it off. You have to be really gentle with day geckos in general because their skin will just come off as a defense mechanism. So I'm trying really hard to not handle him and let him get it off himself. But there he is. So I went ahead and got the smallest crickets I could find to give to Johnny. They're still pretty big, but we'll pick out the ones that are the smallest, see if we can put a few in his enclosure. He only needs one or two um, for a full meal. Um, and he's got his Pangea fruit mixture that's in there. I need to switch that out. so. I give him a couple of crickets, take his Pangea out, and then put some fresh Pangea in. You can see these have been gut loaded as well, put some leafy greens down in there. Okay, so just like with Sheila, I got a couple of the smallest crickets in here that I could find for Johnny. Dusted them in the calcium and we're gonna release them into his enclosure. We'll put these on the bottom. It should be easy to catch. Oh, we'll check them out. He's up here at the top. Hang him up. Beautiful, beautiful guy. We're really worried about him for a little while. But he wasn't gonna make it. You hungry, buddy? You gonna rush me if I open the door? Well, this could get interesting because I don't have my GoPro working right now. So, let's see. If I open the door, I'm gonna try to come out. Are you gonna go back the other way? Hey, can you go back the other way? Okay, there we go. 
I'm rushing out at me. Okay, buddy. Ah, they're doing construction on the neighbor's house. So, I'll dump these guys out down here at the bottom. There they go. Johnny's up there. Well, we got the door open and he's being good. We'll just take this out. Happy hunting. Okay. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it, buddy. Have a good hunt. Okay. We're gonna feed Duke. And this is what we use for Duke. It's without D3. For chameleons, you want calcium without D3. So I went ahead and got some crickets picked out. They're already dusted. We're gonna cup feed him. All right, Dookie. Show him what you got. Nice. Oh, one got out. <laughs> Hold. Hold, please. There you go. Jump out now, they're gonna jump out in your cage. Yeah. Duke, good job, buddy. Good. Nice. Oh, I'm pulling in the water. I may be able to salvage him. side there. I'm offering you one over here. You want this one? You do. Good job, bud. Okay. That's all of them, buddy. So before I continue with the feeding video, I captured some craziness last night outside. I want to play that footage for you. I want to turn the volume up and check this out. Those are coyotes. That's crazy. Those are urban coyotes. Like I said in the clip, those are Coyotes, we live next to a green belt, and I was going outside to go to the garage to film another video, and a police car was coming by, and it got the coyotes wound up, the siren. Bodie sometimes gets wound up because of the sirens of the police cars. 
um, and I had Bodhi with me, so it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but that's, that's crazy. I've never heard him do that before, and that video and audio has not been altered in any way. Um, that's the first time in three or four years since we've lived here um, that I've heard the coyotes be that vocal like that. Um, so yeah, they were down in the green belts. There's a creek, a little waterway that runs over here by our, our place and the green belt. They were probably down there, uh, searching for little critters and scavenging like they do. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's crazy. Lord, he missed both. Well, let's give one to Bing. Let's see if we can get him to eat. Hey, buddy. Okay, there we go. He got it. All right, now this other one. Grab it. Two, Frank. Here we go. Frank's water has cleaned up a bit. It was a little cloudy. I don't like it stuff I see sloughing off of him. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe fungus. Give it a moment. Bean seems like he's <laughs> unscathed. Yeah. Get it, buddy. Worm feeding time. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. We got everybody fed. I want to thank everybody out there again for watching. Help us hit 100 subs. If you did not know, we recently hit 100 subscribers here on the Ramblin' Richardsons. Go check the video up here in the little link um, right up here. Um, check that video out. Thank you for sponsoring um, the videos. All of you out there who are already subscribing, you're our biggest sponsors yet. We super appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. And we will see you on the next video. Peace. Have a great day. Remember, life's about the destination, 